हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल सिंपलीफाइड कंप्यूटर साइंस कंसेप्ट्स बाय प्रोफेसर रुतुजा टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग डेटा एब्स्ट्रैक्शन इन डेटाबेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम सो लेट अस बिगिन विद द टॉपिक सो द डेटा एब्स्ट्रैक्शन हियर इफ यू आर लुकिंग एट द स्क्रीन द पिक्चर इज ऑफ टीवी टीवी सेट नाउ सिंपल TV set has been seen. Now we do not know what is the uh, what are the inner parts of the TV, and we are not concerned about that. So the complexity is hidden from the users who are watching it. But inside the TV, there are various components that are there. So here, if you are able to see, there is a motherboard. There are various USB slots. There are capacitors. There are resistors. There are a lot of wires going in and out. Buses are there. various slots that are there so this complexity is hidden from the users who are watching it and that process is called as a data abstraction similarly let us take one more real time example let us consider your day to day uh, like a uh, mail checking process wherein you are using your gmail and you are um, concerned about only the mail and the contents of the mail and who has sent it but you are irrelevant or you are not bothered about the features which are irrelevant such as the location of where the location of the data is or what is the data level or what is the data model or where it is actually stored what is its physical address what is its logical address what is the data structure of it we are not bothered about it what we are bothered about is the mail from where it has come that means the sender and what are the contents so here the complex things are hidden from the user so let us look at the definition of the data abstraction so it refers to the process of hiding irrelevant details from the user now let us go to the levels of data abstraction there are three levels of data abstraction physical level logical level and new level physical level means how the data is actually stored in the database that means what are the data structure details uh can be stored in the physical level in logical level what data is stored in the database and what is the relationship among those data and view level there are multiple views can be created of the similar of the same database which can be accessed by different different users not necessary that entire information or the entire data in the database needs to be accessed by every user so in that case we have to create multiple views of the same database so this i will be explaining you with the help of diagram uh, in the next slide so this is a database and it has a physical level it has a logical level and a view level let us speak first physical level the physical level says that how the data is actually stored now it is stored in the data can be stored in the format of bits bytes words nibble anything the location uh, at where the database is stored can be calculated by using offset address logical address physical address the displacement and uh, the data can be either stored centralized manner or distributed manner so how the data is actually stored is uh, coming under physical level right and let us go to the next level that is logical level what data is stored and what relationship exists between the data now if you look at this example there is a student table and there is a teachers table now this student table has their own attributes such as student id name and mail address so this is the structure of this database student database but student and teacher are also related with each other so how they are related with each other this information is also represented in logical level so how the data is stored and what are the relationships among the databases this is stored in logical level then comes the last one that is the view level in view level if you are able to see there are different different views created of the same database which can be accessed by different different users so let us understand with one example let's say there is a college database and this college database can be accessed by the student and Uh, the the fields it can access are personal details, fee details, and course fees. In the similar manner, the college the same college database can be accessed by the teacher. 
wherein uh, it can access personal details, student attendance and student results. So if you see the fields are different uh, that can be accessed by different different users that is the student and the teacher. So the same for the same database different views are created for different users. Okay. So this is view level. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you have understood the data abstraction concept and if you have any queries please do comment in the comment box please like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching